circuit terminology. Here we have a circuit with two voltage sources and four resistors connected together. Before we start solving the circuit for various currents and voltages, let us get familiar with some of the terms that are used in circuit analysis. In this circuit, the circuit elements are connected to one another. So, there are points where two or more elements are joined together. Such points are called junctions. Now, let us mark all the junctions in this circuit and name them. V1 and R1 are joined at junction A. R1, R2 and R3 are joined at junction B. R2 and V2 are joined at junction C. V2 and R4 are joined at junction D. R3, R4 and V1 are joined at junction E. A junction is any point of electrical connection in a circuit. If we connect two conducting wires together, we get a junction. But A, B, C, D and E are junctions formed by connecting circuit elements. Such junctions are called nodes. A node is a connection of two or more circuit elements. In this representation, if there is only one circuit element between two nodes, it is called a branch. So, we can call the resistor R1 as branch AB. In this circuit, we have six branches AB, BC, CD, DE, BE and AE. Another thing you will notice in this circuit is that it looks like two circuits join together. V1, R1 and R3 form a circuit. V2, R2, R3 and R4 form another circuit. We join these two circuits such that R3 is common for both. Thus, we can identify two closed paths in this circuit. The first one is formed by nodes A, B and E. Any closed path in a circuit is called a loop. So, we mark the loop A, B, E, A as loop 1. The second loop is B, C, D, E, B. We mark it as loop 2. What about A, B, C, D, E, A? Is it a loop? Yes, but this loop contains two other loops inside it, loop 1 and loop 2. So, we introduce a new term called mesh. A mesh is a closed loop that does not have any other loop inside it. That means, loops A, B, E, A and B, C, D, E, B are meshes, but a, B, C, D, E, A is just a loop, not a mesh. There is no preferred direction for loops and meshes. You can name the mesh in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, starting from any node. The mesh B, C, D, E, B can also be named as D, C, B, E, D. The only thing to remember is to include all nodes in the right order and to end the mesh with the starting node. Let us take another circuit and identify and name all the nodes and meshes. Here we have two active elements, a current source I1 and a voltage source V1. Also there are four resistors R1, R2, R3 and R4. There are a total of six elements in this circuit. That means there are six branches. To identify the nodes, let us put a dot where two or more elements are connected. I1, R2 and R4 are connected together at point A. I1, R1 and R3 are connected together at point B. R1 and R3 are connected together at point C. V1 and R1 are connected together at point D. V1 and R2 
are connected together at point E. Now, for these points to be nodes, there must be at least one branch between any two points. Here, we can see that there is no element in the branch C, E. That means the points C and E are part of the same node. Point E is not a node, but it is a point where two or more elements are joined together. So it is just a junction. So we can modify the naming scheme to represent only the nodes. Now we can define four nodes. Node A where I1, R2 and R4 are joined. Node B where I1, R1 and R3 are joined. Node C where V1, R2, R3 and R4 are joined. And finally node D where V1 and R1 are joined. Now if we check there is at least one circuit element in each branch. We have identified all the nodes. Let us find and name the various loops in this circuit. Just by looking at the circuit, we can identify three meshes. Two meshes side by side and another one above it. We name the meshes using the nodes that form them. Mesh 1 is mesh A, B, D, C, A. Mesh 2 is mesh B, C, D, B. Mesh 3 is mesh A, B, C, A.